Hey friends, and welcome in to A Walk Through the Word, Daily Bread with Crystal Fry. I am your host, Crystal Fry, and today we are continuing our 30-day journey through the book of Ephesians. In this episode, we're unpacking chapter 3, verse 12, and what it means to approach God with freedom and confidence. Thank you for being here with me today, and I pray that you will listen with an open heart to hear the Word of God speaking to you. All right, friends, let's dive in. God's Word is powerful. The missing link is our identity in Christ. When we know who we are and who He created us to be, that is when we can truly walk in freedom. You are never alone. There is hope, and that hope is Jesus Christ. Let's start this episode off with a question. When was the last time you approached God boldly with freedom and confidence? I want you to keep this question in mind as we go through today's episode. Our focus is on Ephesians chapter 3, verse 12, which reads, In him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. The New Living Translation version of this verse states, Because of Christ and our faith in him, we can now come boldly and confidently into God's presence. Paul is telling us that because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross— All believers now have free and open access to God. The veil was torn and the separation that once existed between God and man is now gone. When I think about what this means for us, what I see is another example of God's desire for intimacy and relationship with his children, that we may speak freely in his presence and he will hear us. When you speak to God, when you pray, what does that look like for you? Do you overthink it, trying to use fancy words or structured creeds, trying to make it sound official? Or do you come to him with earnest pleas, shouts of joy, and sincere offerings of gratitude? Do you approach our Heavenly Father with boldness and confidence? Or do you timidly come before him, afraid to say what you really want to say for fear of the outcome? Or do you struggle with having any conversation at all with God? I know it seems like I'm asking a lot of questions today, but communication is the foundation for any relationship, and your relationship with God is no different. Trust is built on open and honest communication. Thoughts and emotions expressed in words meant to help, not harm. Being truthful, not deceitful. So what do your conversations with God sound like? In the Old Testament, ordinary people were not permitted to come directly to God and speak to him. There was an intercessor, a high priest, who was responsible for taking the prayers of the people before God. There was a literal veil, or like a curtain, in the temple that only the high priest could go behind to speak to God. That veil was a representation of the separation between God and his people. When Jesus cried out, It is finished! and breathed his last breath, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, eliminating the separation between God and man, eliminating the need for a human intercessor between the Father and his creation. Jesus is the bridge that takes us from death to life. He alone was anointed and appointed to stand in the gap for all of humanity. His death and resurrection made it possible for us to come before God 
to stand, kneel, or lay down in his presence and speak the words of our hearts to him, to share our joy, our sorrow, our pain, our confusion, our desires, our gratitude, our request for guidance, our pleading for comfort and peace. We have this blessing through Christ, and we should not be afraid to come before our Father with boldness and confidence. You see, God already knows your thoughts and your words and the words you can't bring yourself to say out loud. He knows the true desires of your heart. Honey, he put them there. He knows your pains, your confusion, your struggles, and your longings. There is no need to pretend when you come before him to confess, to repent, to ask for forgiveness, to seek his guidance, or to ask for what you want. God desires to have an intimate relationship with you. He wants you to trust him completely with every aspect, every detail of your life. He wants you to invite him in and allow him to fill you with the power, peace, and unfailing, unconditional love of the Holy Spirit. He doesn't get angry when we have questions when we're frustrated and angry with our circumstances, when we don't understand what's happening or why it has to be this way. God isn't fickle like we are. He will not turn his back on you because you want to know why you're having such a hard time or because your grief comes out as anger and rage. Please, God, let them hear my heart when I say this. Don't you understand? God's love for you is so much deeper than any of our paltry human emotions. He can handle anything that you bring to him, but you have to bring it to him. Listen, my friend, I will be the first to stand in line and tell you that we don't always get what we think we want. And God doesn't always give us an answer to our questions. There are some things that we simply will never know and will never understand this side of heaven. But I will also be the first to stand in line and tell you with full confidence that God hears you, that he understands how you feel, and yes, he does know what is best for you. So when you go before God in prayer, go boldly in freedom and confidence. Do not be afraid to speak to him honestly, openly, holding nothing back. Ask for his guidance. Thank him for the breath in your lungs. And if you can't find the words to pray, just say Jesus. There have been many times when all I could muster was the name of Jesus. When my prayer was nothing more than, God, I don't have the words, but I know you know my heart. Please help me. Go to him today. Sit with him and have a conversation. Talk to him about what's on your mind. Allow him to fill you with the peace in knowing that you can confidently and freely take every single thing to him in prayer. Thank you, friend, for being here with me today, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow as we continue this 30-day journey through the book of Ephesians. In our next episode, we'll be looking at chapter 3, verses 16 through 19, and we'll be talking about power through the Spirit and the love of Christ. Until then. Hey friend, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's my pleasure as always to be here with you. 
If what you listened to today resonated with you, if you enjoyed listening to the show, do me a favor. Go ahead and like and subscribe to this podcast and leave a review. Those reviews are so helpful. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate each and every single one of them. And go ahead and share this episode out with a friend. Invite them along for a walk through the word and let's enjoy that daily bread together. See you tomorrow.